Hey guys, Beast here, and welcome back to the Beast Studio. So what I thought I would go over is inside the studio, you can't see it, if I pan down, there would be a mess of gear scattered all over the place. Uh, sort of a gear heaven, if you will, if you're a gear head. But as many of you know, and I mention it quite often, I work in Antarctica in the winters, which is actually their summer down south. I uh, work off the peninsula as a guide. What we try to do is at least once a trip, we try to get folks on the ice, on the snow, to do camping, an overnight camping trip. Now, some people are not familiar with winter camping at all, whether it's in their own backyard. You can go check out lots of different videos I got. Uh, one of my most popular videos is called Winter Storm Camping, something like that. I'll try to find a link or put it up there. You can search it, it's pretty easy. Um, you know, when, when the weather gets super crazy in the winter, when the weatherman is warning you of high winds and winter weather, I get excited. I get a huge grin on my face. I love winter camping. Even if it's around here in the Pacific Northwest, winter camping means less people, more access to better spots, no bugs. Uh, lots of times I'm just tarp camping or bivy camping. I absolutely love winter camping. Now in Antarctica, it's a little bit more of a logistical, I wouldn't say nightmare, but you have to be aware of incoming weather. Uh, forecasts. You can still have catabatics at any moment. So we generally don't use tents down there. We generally use bivvies. Um, I may bring actually kind of a one-man tent this year. We'll try it out. Some of the photos you're going to see are some of the biv different bivvies I've used over the years. And in fact, I have an old bivvy video. I really should update that one. I think it was called bug out bivvy bags or something like that um, when I was doing a lot of the more emergency preparedness uh, videos. But the bivvy sack is, is such a great tool. It's essentially a waterproof shell over your sleeping bag. Now, you still need to be protected from the ground. You still need to be thermally insulated from the ground, especially when you're camping on snow. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. The piece of gear that I have right here is from To-Go Systems. To-Go Systems is one of the only companies I've seen to put together a solution like this when you're winter camping, even some of the best insulated pads you can get out there aren't enough. So generally, one, I really, I hate putting all my eggs in one basket. I hate trusting an air blow up insulated mattress because if I get a leak or a hole, that puts me right back down in the snow and the ice. So most trusted experienced winter campers will bring some sort of comfortable high R rated sleeping pad. And again, I've done a review. My choice is a Thermarest X Therm. Uh, you can't beat it for its R value and for how small it gets. There's no real insulation inside of it. It's a uh, reflected mylar. So even if I have to use my own breath, I'm not adding condensed moisture and ruining a lot of that insulation that's in there. Um, I've had friends that have completely had their uh, XPED down mat fail. That's one of the most expensive mats out there. One of the highest R rated winter rated pads out there because of its pump technique, because of the potential of you putting moisture in there. Um, I've had friends have those fail and freeze up on me. So again, Thermarest X Therm is my sleeping pad for winter camping. Now, what does that have to do with the to-go systems? The RE cover that I'm going to show you here in a minute takes that process of trying to put a foam pad and an air mattress together and it binds them with a, just a simple sleeve. And that's what this is for. It is a phenomenal tool. It's simple, it's lightweight, it's made out of very good material, and it's lasted over several seasons of me working in Antarctica. And so what that does is it keeps everything from shifting. Snow is very slippery, ice is very slippery. Try to sleep on a bivy, on an air mattress, on a foam mattress, and wiggle on any sort of a slope, and you're gonna soon find that those three things don't ever stay together. So with the systems that I use and with the, the to-go systems, RE cover, uh, it really helps out a lot. All right, here is the recover in front of you. Uh, getting a little worn, the Tyvek lo logo on there. Um, kind of the big things you're looking at. It's a pad protector. It's a radiant enhancer because of the radiant properties of the Tyvek that he uses. And it is a basically multi-pad retention. And I use it for all of those things. So when everything is in here, I know they are fully protected um you know within reason but it's just an added layer and when you're in the middle of nowhere that added layer is worth gold all right here's what she looks like kind of unfold to the top again you can see she's getting pretty worn the nice thing about tyvek is it's very strong but it gets softer the more you actually use this thing so several 
buttons of use under this thing reflective heat barrier up and then of course a nice velcro access to the pad sleeve so you've got standard ridge foam uh, thermal rest going in here along with my x therm and that's what you're seeing in the photos and then that goes inside my bivy now i know that it's fully protected it's adding a little bit of insulation but it's also not swimming around everything is one cohesive unit now i also use a big agnes bag sleeping bag and i don't use this in that sleeve i just use this in the bivy and then i sleep in the bag normally and it seems to work just fine but if you're into winter camping and you're looking for a system like this it's man i love it it's what i've always kind of wished there would have been a long time ago it's a pad protector has a little bit of radiance and it keeps everything organized and i would highly recommend looking into it they're kind of little masters of tyvek i have one other product i'm going to review here in a little bit but um yeah recover it's exactly what I've been looking for for all these years for winter camping. This has been Beast, the two go systems, recover. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you try and let me know what you use for winter camping. And we'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media and we'll see you on the road. Watching guys.